Yo, what's going on guys? We're playing Olaf in the jungle. If you're playing Olaf in the top lane and enjoy him, I definitely recommend him in the jungle. Uh, he can hard stomp certain matchups. Not good into every matchup, but into most matchups. And if you know how to play Olaf, he'll be quite fine. Just watching the minimap to see where Belveff started. I think she probably started... She might have started top side. Still not seen Udi top. Yeah, he just come up then. She may have started top side. I was going to invade her, but not 100% sure. They did a good job of hiding that. For runes, we went Lethal Tempo, Triumph, uh, Alacrity, Last Stand. Pretty standard for Olaf. I think Lethal Tempo is better than Conqueror. If you can get more autos off. Uh, we went for free boots and approach velocity. Must have for Olaf, especially in the jungle. Don't necessarily need approach velocity in top lane Olaf, but definitely I would recommend it in the jungle and definitely go for free boots if you can. Got his Suo in the mid lane. Olaf's still got a relatively decent clear. Oh, I could have went mid there. I probably should have went mid. We can full clear. Still got another smite up. You don't want to use your smite too early on Olaf. You actually want to be lower health for longer, so you clear faster. The lower on health Olaf gets, the faster he clears due to his passive. Uh, we'll get an auto down on each of these. We're going to be going for the crit build on Olaf to see how that goes. Generally, you want to go Bruiser for the best uh, consistency. But I've seen a lot of people having a lot of success with the crit build, so we're going to try that out. I'm going to go up here. He's in a huge minion wave. Yeah, they're way out of their depth here. We get first blood. Uh, we couldn't save Gangplank. We accidentally missed our axes. That was... I don't think Gangplank did much damage there anyway. It was kind of a 1v2. But we could have saved him if we hit, I think, that last axe. But it is what it is. Pick up a double. We might actually just back there. I think... Yeah, I don't know what Clear Belveth did. Maybe she did start on the same side as me. Alright, we're going to go for um, the Immortal Shield Bow. I'm going to go Shield Bow into something like Collector. And then, depending, we do have a new deer, so we might have to go Black Cleaver as well. We'll see. A Bramble Vest wouldn't be bad into the Belveth either. We'll just see how we go. Get these wolves. Dragons up. Olaf takes dragons really easily. So you won't be able to sustain as much going this build. Um, but you definitely will do more damage. Don't really want to show here if I don't have to. So I'm just going to go back. I'd say Belveth probably got that second scuttle as well. She's on 33 CS. She's actually ahead of us in CS. She clears ridiculously quickly for someone that scales for the, in the late game. Yep, that's down. Oh, I didn't see Jin solo there. We might pop over. We haven't got any mobility to actually get to him. Hopefully this is not watered. It is. Yeah. It is what it is. I thought that was a ward, so I ran over. It was actually one of Jin's traps. Both mid laners are level 6. We'll just cross over. Going to get our Raptors. We want to start invading Belveth if we can. 
She held, she hid where she was starting quite well, so made it hard for us. She's always playing quite aggressive. I want to get a gank off on him. And we just Q, E, auto attack, and that's enough to finish him off. These guys should be pretty squishy. Looking like a good opportunity down bot lane. Might go right behind him. I'm just going to hope that this is not warded. Uh, oh, nice. We should get that. If we had level 6, we could just dive them. Not sure. Oh, ADC died. I'm just going to run under and kill these guys, I think. Uh, I think we're dead. Oh, yeah, we're dead. We took one too many tower shot there. I swear we were like outside here when that hit us, but... Uh, it is what it is. <laughs> we mainly took tower damage. I think Annie got the shutdown, so that's completely fine. She's playing support. We'll go that, and... That'll pretty much be it. We can grab a control ward as well. I don't know how they thought they were going to survive that then. Just sitting under tower and hoping for the best, I guess. Not a great plan versus in Olaf. Full item. We should be able to fight anyone now. Can look to get drags. I'm not sure where they are. They might be on drag. Yeah, they are. Oh, I think there have got four people on drag. Yeah, we couldn't really do too much there. We don't have our level six either. Yeah, there's way too many of them. Can I actually probably fight this. Yeah. Any drops of bear on me. Annoying. We almost have R up. Oh, get off me, bear. I'm just going to kill the bear. It's doing way too much damage. Use that R. Kill the Isuo. Um, that's good enough. We really need to get boots. I'm thinking about getting Swifties. Actually, we could get plated steel caps. They're 4 AD. Normally, you want Swifties just because... Getting onto them is a lot easier, especially when they have slows. Um, but when there's four AD, makes sense. Makes sense to go plated, I guess. UD might actually be going AP. We'll see. We can go get Herald. We play quite well into Belveth because she can't knock us up. We can just R. As long as you fight around your R with Olaf, you should be completely fine. You don't want to go out on the map against a heavy CC team without your R. And you can pretty much full clear into gank because your R is only on like a minute cooldown. So you're not giving up much. Of course, you're still ridiculously strong outside of your R. But your R is basically a massive cheat code. Might be able to get Udi here. We're going to max the E second. <laughs> he's ghosting. I don't know what he's doing, this guy. We'll blue smite him. You got CC immune. He's still in his ghost, which is annoying. I, I have no idea why he ghosted. Oh, I missed my Q. They cannot fight me if they come up. Uh, I'm... Yeah, Olaf's broken. Oh my god. Nice 
uh, from the gangplank, and we'll just go and take this tower now. Use your W against towers. You absolutely melt them. This guy's gonna die. Oh my god. I'm gonna take this wave because it's a cannon wave. And we'll head back. Would have been juicy to get that other plate, but it is what it is. Crit Olaf does ridiculous damage. All you have to do is not be scared and keep hitting them. If you stop hitting them for any reason, um, they're probably going to kill you because you are quite squishy. But their lifesteal is insane on this build. Main things we've got to watch out for is if Udyr stacks too much armor. But because we have crit, we should be able to slice through him. Your W acts like a second shield bow kind of thing, so you can activate that when you're low health. So you get all the benefits of being low, basically when you're shielded. Hmm. Oh my god, this is too broken. Nice, and Lux got the R off. Oh, we need to get out of here. We don't want to be versing that bear. We can't get any real value from fighting that thing. Very nice. And our R's up in 60 seconds again. And he's very brave for stepping up there. We could have easily just Dover. We'll head back. Probably should have stayed around to get Collector. Uh, I can sell my Control Ward. Yeah, we'll just wait. It's only 25 gold now. It's worth just to wait for Collector. Dragon's up. I probably shouldn't have backed there. I was just kind of AFK in. 10 and 1, so ridiculously strong. We can take any fight now. Almost, we can almost probably 1v5 them. At this point on Olaf. We can take the dragon. If they turn up, we just turn on them. Ah, uh, ghost. You can also take cosmic insight to get lower ghost cooldown. But ghost is on a relatively short cooldown anyway. I'm to the point where you don't really need to do that. They just warded. We'll go down. We can ghost into them if they're here. Or here. Yeah, they're just running around no vision now. Oh my god, she's fast. We didn't get the kill. We got the assist at least. We'll get this bear off him. Not really trying to take away, but we want to want her to go to Dragon with us, so we'll push it right in. Really, the team just has to play around me at the moment to get the most value. Haven't got Smite up quite yet, but they shouldn't be able to contest anyway, unless they dive. Grab that, now we just full clear again. And our R's going to be up, and we'll look to kill it, dear top. We can start basically running under towers because we have plated steel caps. We just have to remember we're not as tanky as Bruiser Olaf. When you get those crits off, it does feel nice though. Feels very, very nice. We have 40% crit chance, so not too high. Looks like they're gathering top. I think he's probably going to die. We'll look to go up there now. 
And he's coming up. I might just hang here. If she comes up past me, I can easily just Ara. Uh, I think she just went to ward. I'm just going to hop over so I'm not going to get seen by that ward and I'm going to come mid. Try and kill them both. I think they did just see me though. Yeah. They see me run over that ward. Yeah, I don't know what she thought she was going to do there. And Kasa gets a gin. Very nice. We'll go push mid now. We need to kind of get this pushed in. We're getting enough kills, but we're not forcing too many objectives. Got him with the axe, and we get the assist. We can just go here. Could push Herald, but... <laughs> they actually got first tower. That's semi-disappointing. We get knocked up. Just gotta run. We don't have our R, so we don't really want to be hanging around near turrets. We'll go help him get Rift Herald. Uh, next item, could go Death's Dance, could go Infinity Edge. I'm thinking Infinity Edge will probably be our last damage item. Maybe build something like Guardian Angel after that. And he's here. Even if she stuns me, should be able to kill her. Getting range for her axe, hit her, and she's a goner. Auto attack, W, auto attack, and she's dead. We've got the crit there. Just did an insane amount of damage. Got our ghost up, got our R up now. We can just go mid, I have Herald. We don't need to We don't need to chase UD, we got the stronger comp, we can just head forward. You see where it's not gonna be coming through here. We could dive them. It's not worth it. They have a lot more to gain. I don't know what this guy thought he was doing. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have ghosted there. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Ooh. I need to run. If any stuns me, I'm dead. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, that bear was there. I think I kept on hitting the bear as well. I'm not going to get nearly enough life steal from the bear to survive. Sitting on 3,000 gold, I should have really just backed. We might get Infinity Edge before we leave base, we'll see. They're really just pushing us in now. We kind of, yeah, need them not to be bot lane. We should just be grouping. I can split to win, but not ideal. I'd rather just kill them as a team and run straight. Lux is gonna die to you, dear. He's going to be on my blue buff. I'm just going to go straight down there. Dragon's up as well. Uh, Gangplank doesn't have his R. Just going to try and run straight into this. We should just be able to pick up drag now. Two down. Very nice. We'll just go down bot and push, I think. We're getting caught out when we group up a little bit. I might even go one more attack speed item. It doesn't feel quite enough just to have a mortal shield bow, but we would be overstacking for sure.
Nice from Lux. I'm just going to tank this, hoping Yasuo ults me again. I can just jump out of his ult. Oh, she took that cannon. I'm going to back off. We've got no one on the map. Vex died somehow. Get out E. I'm going to go back mid, I think. Kais is farming my jungle. We really just need to push. My team's kind of not doing anything too interesting. They can't match us if we just raw fight them. So we're doing 651 on our auto attacks when we crit. It's kind of insane. We probably should have maxed W for this build, I think. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a 4v2 just there. It's not great. We can actually fight this, I think. We have three items. Yeah, we're ghosting back on. Oh my god, it is tanky. Yeah, we... I mean, we got the majority of all their helves. My team just needs to finish it off. Kaisa shouldn't have been running. Now she goes back in. She gets a double. Should probably... I mean, if she kept on attacking, she would have got a penta. Easily. That's unlucky. I kind of bit off two more than I could chew there. And any ignited me. That ignite really. If you're versing an Olaf, make sure you take ignite. It cuts his healing in half almost. How much does it actually do? Yeah, forty percent. So pretty much cuts it in half. Which on a build like this hurts quite a bit. We're gonna go for black cleaver now. Bit of health, and we're gonna be able to shred this Udi a bit faster. Uh, we might just go bottom. I just don't want my team to follow me down here this time. If they just push mid, I can really just push this wave in. Looks like Gangplank's doing his own thing. Alright, might just hide in the bush. If someone comes down, looks like three mid. Yusuo's down. Should be able to get this tower. And Udi is top. We can kill Belveth here. Oh, we're dead. Oh, no. She... Damn, her damage reduction was insane then. I shouldn't. I probably shouldn't have fought her on a damage reduction, but I didn't have a choice. I was under tower already. If I backed off, my R would have expired. Went one for one. Not the worst trade. She spawns before me. Just dragons up. Should run down. Should have quicker movement speed. Than the Belvef. One disadvantage about playing this build is normally on the Bruiser build, you'd go for Dead Man's or Force of Nature for the movement speed. This doesn't have a great deal of movement speed. They're going down. We have R up in 18 seconds. Belvef should be turning up the same time as us, so just remember that. Get the blue buff for the cooldown reduction. Not sure why that guy just ran. Oh, we need to go back up and stop your deer. No one's stopping him. Oh, 
I'm gonna ghost R these two, I think. Damn, they're gonna get Dragon. We'll just push Baron now. It was a bad trade, but we had to go because no one else can handle it, dear. We'll just push Baron and get it now. We have true damage. We'll take Baron super quick with this build. It's all we really need anyway, just that extra push in power. Hit her with the axe, slowed her down, she jumped away. We got blue buff. Ooh. Ooh. I don't have R, I'm dead. Yeah, that's why you don't run in with Olaf without R. Oh. We come back to life and we're dead. No, we're not. Oh my god, we almost never die. As long as we can get our autos off, we live. You've seen there, we got stunned. CC duration, 5.1 seconds. And he ignited us again. And he's literally clutching up for their team, unironically. Um, but it was a worth trade, because we had Baron. They were fighting that close to base. They should have just run away. Should be able to get huge chunks of their Nexus now. We should maybe be even able to end here. And next item, Black Cleaver, and then we'll probably go into Thorn Mail, last item. But that should be GG's, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, my name's Jellybird, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.